What's up, guys? Michael Sawolf here for an episode of Health Wolf. So today we're going to be covering two new components to health. Nutrition and exercise. So in case you guys don't know, nutrition and exercise are very important in health. I even got a little bit in a tab here called Basic Life here. In my little medical books I've written myself. So alright, so we're going we're gonna to be covering some topics in this book. I wrote this entire one myself, even though it's a little bit outdated. But other courses that I wanted to cover include pharma like pharmacy stuff, which is a little bit hard because you know we're gonna count over the covered that one a little bit. Covered a little bit of that um drugs and alcohol in my, one of my other health world videos. So there's a lot of things here. Including we might get through a little bit of earth science as extras. We can even learn about observing patients. Alright guys, so let's cover up the first portion of it. <laughs> also, we're going to cover puberty. Alright, then let's get on to the first tab. Basic life. Alright, so you know our body, we depend on the food we need to survive. And because it gives us energy. It's even on the first chapter here. Alright, so according to my notes, our body depends on food for energy. Digestion is also the process of breaking down food molecules the cells can absorb. So we know that cells need food, right? But they need oxygen as well. And we know the oxygen we breathe in comes from plants. So we gotta give them oxygen too, but nutrition is also important. So if you want to help your cells, like nurture them, there's some ads on the internet you can find. There's a lot more of this health stuff that the health wolf cannot cover. But anyway, you know our heart, right? So according to here, we need exercise too. So exercise keeps the heart, the heart, the it keeps the thing big and strong. Like we have a tube. Keeps them big and strong by exercising. So other ways you can exercise. So you guys can do jump, you can do jogging, push-ups. I could do up to four at a time. You can do sit-ups, which is why I got a little bit of a six-pack. Anyway, that's not all our, our body needs for exercise. So one of my other topics from Ask Star Wolf, a person asks about how can we get a healthy body. So another option, so let's say, let me pull up the question from the Ask Star Wolf. All right, I'm on the wrong one. Ah, right, here we go. Q&A series. Let me see if I can pull it up. All right. This is one of them. Uh, All right, so from Casey Swanson, he actually said, how can I have a healthy body image? So this is one of them. So exercise is also important, but also is nutrition, because without food, you won't have the energy. You need to exercise. So we need six main nutrients, carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vitamins, minerals, and last but not least, water. This is my second one today. So you need at least eight glasses of water. You can also drink bottles. All right, so according to the Food Guide Pyramid, we need grains like 6 to 11, unless you're gluten free. So if you guys can't handle gluten, you can skip grains, but unless you can find some grains that don't have gluten. But grains are the most important things of your body. You need 6 to 11 servings of these. I recommend you get at least like 6 or 7 of them. You also need 3 to 5 servings of veggies. Because I know veggies are important. Veggies that you can eat include carrots. You can eat carrots, spinach. Broccoli, Brussels sprouts, and you also need two to four servings of fruit, which include apples, tomatoes that have been proven to be a fruit because they got seeds, raspberries, strawberries, bananas, bananas have potassium, which is also an element. Don't forget dairy, you guys gotta have some dairy. Dairy can come in a lot of ways, like, like cheese, ice cream comes with dairy, and... There's a lot you could try, like, there's even milk. I know me, I don't really like milk, but I like chocolate milk. 
Me, mean, you also gotta have some servings of that, too. If you guys can't have meat, or if you're a vegetarian, try having a meat alternative. Like, try those Impossible Wobs from Burger King. Like, it totally tastes like meat, but it's all vegan. And you should always limit your fats, too. So, like, sweets. So, you might want to limit the stuff you can have. So, don't eat. So, don't include cake or cookies or ice cream or um, anything sugary in your normal diet. Like, have those, like, sparingly or, like, unlimited amounts. Like, limit them. So, there's also some exercise you could try. I saw below a section on exercise. So to keep our body healthy, we must also exercise because, you know, exercise is also reduced heart attacks by keeping the blood vessels open wide. The physical activity pyramid was created to help plan our exercise routine. The ones on the bottom show that what you should exercise most to keep the heart healthy. So you should, there's some lifestyle, like doing chores or yard work. Those are some, so those are like lifestyle. You should do those all the time. Hint, sleeping is not an exercise. You should do some aerobic exercise, like three, six times a day. Flexibility and strength, like lifting weights. And the most important thing, rest, like exercise. Rest is also important in exercise and just don't rest too much or exercise too much. Like if you lift weights, like nothing but lift weights all day, you could like pop a blood, you could pop a muscle. Anyway, guys, that's all for today. If you guys enjoyed this video, in the next health book, we will also cover puberty. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Hey guys, what's up? So, it's coming to my intention that we should talk about Facebook for our episode of Social Media Advice. The very first season will be exclusively for daytime and the second season, which I have just announced, I'm announcing now that it's the final season. The second season will be the final season. And that season will move exclusively to my new primetime blog, which will premiere later this month. Alright, so we're going to talk about Facebook. So let's talk about some of the do's and don'ts. Here's some do's. Do use your real name. Remember, you got if you're gonna add people, they gotta know who it's who it really is. So it won't be a good idea to call yourself Far Boy on your Facebook account. Despite how funny it might be. Do add some add do give a bio. You wanna tell people who you are and new people who don't even know you that you're gonna add. All right, and now with some don'ts. I'll be one more do first. Do follow the community guidelines. You should always follow the community guidelines. And I'm gonna explain why you should in the don'ts. Don't make up false false news information. Everybody knows that making false news information is bad. So don't say that you just figured out the cure for coronavirus on July of 2020. Everybody knows that's a lie. And don't don't say that you that you have saved the world from four hundred bad guys in one hour. That's not possible. Don't break the community guidelines. And let me tell you why. In case you know what the community guidelines are, they're basically the same as Instagram. No nudity, no posting hate crimes laws, no posting violence, and no no impersonation. And most importantly, make sure it's all age appropriate. Don't break these community guidelines, because if you do, Facebook does have a thing called Facebook Jail. In case you don't know what Facebook Jail is, it's like a program on Facebook that restricts your... It restricts your ability to use things on Facebook, like post or add people. Anyway guys, that's all for today. If you guys enjoyed this video, I got nothing else more to talk about. I am Michael Stowell. Content you will enjoy. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.